Thing is, when I came out of the hospital, mother was up and about, but I was not. I had uh, what's called COPD, that's chronic obsessive, oh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. <laughs> obsessive. So I'm hooked up to oxygen. The only thing I could do was give her pills. Fortunately, she hadn't reached that point where she uh, was trying to leave home. The first time she did that was in, I think, March 2008. She left. She just walked out. I was, like, as I said, I was in bed, sick. Then she walked out. I didn't know she was gone. She was until uh, Deputy Sheriff brought her home. But what she had done, she had walked out, and she'd walked about three, four blocks. And uh, due to the fact that she hadn't been doing a lot of walking, I think her, her legs gave out on her. Anyhow, she fell. Some lady saw her fall, and she she knew her. She knew that she lived in this neighborhood, but she didn't know her. She didn't she she didn't know her name. But when she fell, this lady called 911. At about the same time, I discovered that she was gone out of the house. So I called uh, Cherie and Kenna, my two daughters, and told them, and uh, they came looking for her. Well, by the time they got over, over on this side of town, they lived on the other side of town, by the time they got over on this side of town, the rescue people were out there and come out there and picked her up. And the sheriff's, the deputy sheriff was there, naturally. They told her that she lived in the complex. This, late, this woman had called Debbie, the, uh, the manager of the complex. And I think Debbie told the, told the sheriff where she lived. And he brought her home. That was the first time she walked out.